Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. You're getting a three for today. I just noticed the fan's still going overhead. That bothers me when I'm filming. I don't know if it bothers you at all, but it bothers me. It's distracting. Anyways, it's time for a review. I've been flying jets and landing horribly and showing off dying pepper plants and listening to music all day. And it's 4.30 already, so I guess this is like a, like an appetizer before dinner. I've got some Dutch boy herring tidbits, and I'm going to add some Ace Moro's Apocalypse Scorpion Tincture to this. This should be pretty good. Actually, well, I, I must say, I know that these are good. I've been enjoying these basically my whole life. I remember at a very young age, my father introduced us to pickled herring. It was one of his favorite snacks. And it's one of my favorite snacks too. I mean, I have a lot of favorite snacks, like a lot, but this is up there for sure. I've never added tincture or hot sauce or any spice to them that I can think of. I've always just eaten them right out of the jar. Today I'm gonna review them and add some apocalypse scorpion pepper tincture to it. I'm gonna hold it this way too. So I have some options for my thumbnail. I think it works better the other way though because I don't wanna block Maggie and this is too big of a thing for over here. It's in front of my forehead now. I'm overthinking out loud. I'm gonna step back, knock a couple of crackers over. I actually almost caught one with my foot. One tumbled over here. I'm actually very surprised that they didn't break. Oh, and there is one dog hair on there. I was gonna say, and not a single dog hair? That's wild. I, ha I haven't vacuumed in here today. Actually, it's been a few days since I vacuumed. Make sure there's no hairs on there. We're good now. Okay, back on track. I got a stack of four crackers right here, just out of view. Actually, I can see them now. Oh no, that's something else. I don't even know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna open these up. And talk about it a little bit first, I suppose. Prepared in Canada. Source of omega-3. Polyunsaturates. I don't know what that is, but that's what it says. Ingredients are herring, onions, water, vinegar, sugar, salt, spices, and wine. And it also contains fish. I guess if you didn't know what herring was, Right, you might be surprised. I suppose I'll show you the artwork, the renderings on this as well. They put some time into it, I suppose. I had a little bit of trouble finding a website or much of anything on Dutch Boy, but I was able to find, where is it now? Packed for Seven Seas Fish Company Limited out of Richmond, BC, Canada. Uh, oh, the website's listed right there, that's hilarious www.7cs.ca Sounds funny when you say www. I usually don't say that part. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along, I'm gonna use my knife to open this because, because that's what I do. I have an awesome knife for this, so I guess I could have even used a smaller knife for it. I feel like I'm really talkative this afternoon, especially for somebody that's already done two videos today. I should be more tired. I'll crash after this video, I'm sure. <laughs> so, open these up, hopefully without, I guess if I spill, it's gonna spill on this plate anyway. It's quite full in there, and there's an onion stuck to the lid. There you go, get back in there with your friends. I'm gonna grab a couple pieces, eat a couple by themselves. I suppose I should put this onion in there. Oh yeah, there we go. And I'll show you what it looks like up close too, in case you're curious. I know a lot of people aren't into this sort of thing. A lot of people think this stuff is gross or funky or whatever. Um, I don't think it's funky. I think it's delicious. I don't know, it's fish, it's pickled fish. I love pickled things. I like, actually, I like pickled things more than fish, but I do love tuna and herring and things like that. Oysters, I'm a huge fan of oysters. So anyways, let's try this out. Dutch Boy 
Herring tidbits. Eat my shorts. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's delicious. It's very sweet. You really get that the wine and the vinegar and the onion. The the fish is almost not an aftertaste, but I don't know. It adds to this spongy sort of texture of things along with the crunch of the onion. It's just a really good snack. I'm going to have another in, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but it almost made me cough. <laughs> spicy okay <laughs> so I'm gonna put a couple pieces on a couple crackers now and actually first I'm gonna give you a flavor rating now I would like you to keep in mind that I have a biased opinion of these because this is one of my favorite snacks it just really takes me back to my childhood and it's delicious I'm gonna give this a flavor rating. <clears throat> Eight out of 10. Maybe even more, maybe even more. Let me think about that. Eight and a half. If I have to think about it, then I'm gonna get, give it that half point. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10 for a flavor rating. It's delicious. I, I've kind of described the flavor and the textures. I really like it. <laughs> if you like the taste of onion and white wine and vinegar and a little bit of that fishy flavor, for sure, I recommend this. I'm gonna keep keep bu buying these throughout my life, not regularly, because they're not super cheap from what I can remember. I don't remember how much this even cost. I got it from Save on Foods though. Let's have a couple on crackers now and see how that changes the experience. I've never, I don't know if I've ever done this actually. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do like that. Um, interestingly, with the cracker, it almost seems like I taste the fish more. I wonder if the salty flavor of the cracker brings that flavor out more. I'm not too sure. Let's have another. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's the fish flavor is more of a finish as opposed to a main flavor still but I would say that the salty flavor of the cracker does kind of bring that fish flavor out a little bit more oh there's a little black fly buzzing around they love the the vinegary stuff the sweet stuff I'm going to put this down here just so it's out of the way let's get some tincture on these apocalypse scorpion tincture from ace Moro. Look at how thick this stuff is. Actually, it doesn't look that thick on camera, but when you do this, and it kind of paints the bottle brown, <laughs> you know it's thick. I've had this for like over a year for sure, like maybe even two years. It's very evaporated and concentrated. Give it another little shaky shake. And let's put a, a couple drops of this onto the little fishy snacks there. This is a great tincture. Everything from Ace Moro that I've ever had is absolutely scorching hot, pepper forward, and very smooth for what it is. For being an apocalypse scorpion tincture that's this concentrated, it's quite smooth. Oh, I can really smell that. I haven't used this stuff in quite a while. With three drops per, per thing. I don't want to get too carried away. I did have sort of cramps from the challenge last night. <clears throat> so I imagine I'll probably get cramps from this too. Let's do this. 
Um, yeah, Dutch. I already showed you the stuff. Dutch Boy, Herring Tidbits, and Ace Moro's Apocalypse Scorpion Pepper Tincture. Heat my shorts. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn the fish over. I don't know why. It just seems right. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's slowly building. Has a nice pepper flavor to it. And a little bit of heat. Yeah, the heat is slowly, consistently building. Started with a tiny bit of throat burn. It's kind of at the sides of my tongue now. Tip of my tongue a little bit. Really nice fl flavor. That's interesting. I don't know if I would necessarily raise my flavor rating for this with the tincture on it. I think it's still, and I don't know if I gave you a flavor rating with the crackers. I meant to do that. I think it's still the same, straight across the board, eight and a half. The little variations do change it a little bit, but I don't think it necessarily makes it better or worse tasting. Okay, I'll give it an extra half point with the tincture because I love that pepper flavor. That does add to the flavor. But on the cracker, I'd say it's still a seven and a half. Sorry, eight and a half out of ten. That's what it was. Um, really good snack. I really like these. Should you spice up your pickled herring? I'd say definitely. If you're into adding heat to your snacks and meals, I would say definitely. Add some tincture. Or even a hot sauce. Add a couple drops of a super hot hot sauce. Probably be really good. Will I do this again? With this? Maybe with this tincture. But definitely with spicy products. I just say maybe with this tincture. Because I am running very low, low on it. I should probably use it up. Maybe I'll just empty it in there. <laughs> Imagine. That would totally work too. You'd have a spicy vinegar at the end of it. You'd have to do something with that. You wouldn't want to waste that. But anyways, have a little hangout with this little doggy. I almost forgot about that. I like how she stole the middle of the couch. Hey, did you steal the middle of the couch? You kind of took the whole thing again. I even had this pillow spanned across it, but she kind of laid to this side anyway on the pillow. So I just put the pillow where it should be anyways. Aren't you even going to say hello? Hmm? Aren't you even going to say hi? I scared her. Did you see her shoulder twitch when I petted her? I think she's definitely losing her hearing because she should have... I don't know. She should have been able to hear and expect that. Right? Are you losing your hearing? Unless it's a snack? Oh, her eyebrows went when I said the word snack. It's selective. It's selective hearing. I know a few words I could say right now that would get her up off the couch immediately, but I, I have things to do, so it would be rude to use those words. I kind of wish that you would say hello. Hey, Migs. No? She's had a long day. She's been in two videos already. All right. I'll leave you be. You're a good girl. <laughs> She's funny. Anyways. Apocalypse Scorpion Tincture from Ace Moro. Dutch Boy Herring Tidbits. That's a good snack. I like that. I'm a big fan of pickled herring. Thanks for introducing me to that snack at a very young age, Dad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. 
get it uploading and finally maybe do a little bit of work on my flight simulator dashboard that I'm building because I haven't even touched it yet today. I've been pretty busy with the channel stuff. Um, hope you'll have a great day or night. I love y'all. In this corner you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner I'll leave a link to the Seven Seas Fish Market website. And up here some playlists, some content for you to click and enjoy. Have a great day or night. I love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.